We're making flapjacks up in here. Slap some butter and some syrup on it. This one's number 18. Band Breaks with Margaret for Madison. So none of you, neither of you saw the Mason Rudolph knockout no, or I mean, uh, I fight, read... I mean? You saw the knockout, that. No, Talking to the mic, dickhole. Oh, I didn't even know we were doing this right now. He just, <laughs> okay, he just started not like saying him. I'm currently in the middle of something. Oh, so okay, it wasn't a knockout. You but said they, knockout. Is that plugged in, Ryan? Or is that the extra? That's the, that's the other one in. that's not plugged in. Okay. This is my of course little, you whore. This is my thing. Right. No, uh... <laughs> Did you just slap him? Testing the mic? Uh, no, I started going like this. And he okay. fucking put his finger on my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> you guys didn't see the I didn't watch it. I, I was scrolling through Facebook and Who I saw it. it. And I, it the, was like brawling. So Miles Mason Garrett. Rudolph it was involved again. Miles Garrett. Yeah, Why yeah. are we talking about Mason Rudolph? Because he's the one who got knocked in the head with the helmet. We were watching football. Well, we saw him got. Oh, that's right. Okay, okay, okay. Down okay here yeah. Before, remember? Are you pulling it up? Are you? You got it already? No, I don't. I'm sure I can find it. Did you guys yeah. watch? Um, do you guys know Logan Paul, the YouTuber? Yeah, I know Logan Paul. Did he, he like find somebody dead in a forest or something like that? He went oh, to Japan, yeah. the suicide yeah, forest. That's the only thing I know him from. Okay. And well, he made a fucked up video about it, and everybody hated him for a while. <laughs> but now he's somehow making money off YouTube again. Yeah, I don't know how, but. I don't get um, it. He, he he did a, a fight, like a boxing fight, him I, and another YouTuber from Britain. Why? I don't know. Because they're both, good or something? No. Because yeah, <laughs> they're like... both pussies? I don't know. K, oh, the other YouTuber's name is KSI. It was KSI and Logan Paul, and they it was like a whole thing. It was. You found it? Yeah, I found it. KSI won, but it was like by judge. He barely, he barely won. Sorry. I just really wanted to see Logan Paul get knocked the fuck out. Didn't he challenge somebody else to a fight too? He probably did. He probably challenges everyone to fights. You didn't find it? I feel no, like I he challenged it. like a fighter. Oh. Okay, here it is, guys. Boom! Wow. Here, I'll That's let you guys see it up close. They're gonna show it up. Getting dragged around by his face mask. Helmet ripped off. Oh, and he clocks him. Right on the crown of his head. Damn. I'm surprised he wasn't, like, concussed after that. He just was like, what the fuck? Why no one do anything about it? <laughs> and I was like, dude, you should have been knocked out. That was crazy. Damn. Did you see it? Damn, yeah. That's yeah, why that's... people were making a big deal out of wow. it. Wow. I don't think it... Yeah, so, like, did he get suspended for that? Yeah, indefinitely, they said. Hell oh, yeah. no shit. <laughs> indefinitely. That's crazy. Marquise Pouncey got suspended. He's the guy who kicked. That was your first. Okay. He's like, oh, is he kicking him? He was down on the ground. He's getting kicked. Well, that's so the most suspended. noticeable thing is when, if you're in a football field and, and you see kicking, it's like, no one, there's no kicking, like, ever. <laughs> <Right. Yeah. laughs> like, some stuff you can, like, like grabbing and roughing around and stuff you can get away with, and, like, you can do some sneaky stuff that people can't see. But, yeah, if you're kicking... That leg goes up, and it's like, what the fuck is he doing? Yeah, it was, it was like, isn't Dominican Sue out there or something? That's what it reminded me of, yeah, dude, that's... Um, yeah, that was dude. annoying. I mean, the first one, you had, like, plausible deniability, where he, like, accidentally, you know, quote, unquote, stepped on Aaron Rodgers, but kind of put his <laughs> weight on him. And then the second time, he, like, just straight up stomped that offensive guard for the Packers. <laughs> 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 that was egregious. <laughs> Can't see that one through the the lion's blinders. So that was pretty bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, it was pretty brutal. What'd you guys do this week? I argued with some old people online. Yeah? Yeah. Why? They were, um... Did you say, okay, boomer to them? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> there is this... Pe oh, um... Fox 17 put up a news article... Oh that, no! That, Local that, um, news comment <laughs> sections are the worst. <laughs> they uh, it was on Facebook and Grand Valley. The um, the student 
government body there decided that they weren't going to, they voted, took a vote, and they're like, yeah, we're not going to keep saying the Pledge of Allegiance before every single meeting. And they voted not to do it anymore. <laughs> and then all these people, dude, you wouldn't believe the amount of, like, insanity that's going on in that page. with Like, it's all nobody the... that goes there. Yeah, 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 no affiliations at all. People just talking about how disgusted they are and how they're, like, physically ill because of it. Like, they're just, like, uh, they're just ridiculous, but... <laughs> It's like, why do you care if right. they say this worn-out chant or not? Right. It's it's really strange to me, but, like, you have no affiliation at all with the school. None of your kids even go there. <laughs> like, Yeah, right? I don't know. These people that I've never met before for 30 <laughs> seconds every day no longer have to do this thing, and somehow you're mad about it? Yeah. What the fuck? And I don't know what they think complaining about it's going to do. It's not like because they're upset about it. The government, student government's going to go, we changed our minds because all these mad people. I don't know. Everybody was upset about Sonic the Hedgehog, and they complained, and they changed it. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, what did they change about that? They completely changed the way that he was animated. The CGI, yeah. Like, they changed his entire look because everybody was pissed off that he looked stupid. He looked pretty fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was pretty sure the movie was going to be dumb either way, so I wasn't worried about it. <laughs> so they never it. released the movie? No, they changed they, they him held throughout off. the entire movie. It was all CGI, right? Because yeah, so. they went back and redid it, and so everyone's like, happy now. All those previews you saw, they, they, everything got delayed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No shit. Yeah, because of how much backlash there was on the internet. I guess what I'm saying, though, is wow. I, I very highly doubt that a bunch of boomers crying about it on Facebook is going to make the student government change their mind and start saying this 30-second chant before every meeting again. Was that the conversation where you had with these old people? Basically, I yeah. Feel like those were his exact points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah what are you gonna do about it like right okay why did you feel compelled to chirp in on it I don't know man something about it sucked me in when I saw that there was no one providing and like it was all people saying how pissed off they were about it there was no there wasn't a lot of people because it was Fox 17 there wasn't a lot of people with opposing viewpoints so were you just playing devil's advocate I just thought that the point needed to be made that they should not be upset about it because it has nothing to do with them Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was like, if no one's gonna say it, I, I feel like I have to. Because usually, he's usually I let that, that guy on. Usually I let that shit go because <laughs> I, I really, it, I really don't like getting into it. And there's no, like, usually I'm like, there's no point. But when it's all flooded with one side of something, it's like, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm always glad. I, I understand Tom's point of view. I'm always glad when at least somebody says something. But like, I a lot of times don't have the energy for it. Yeah, it's it takes a like, lot of it's, it takes a lot on you mentally. Having to try and talk to these people because they don't fucking get it. I get real annoyed with that real quick. Yeah. You probably started getting a bunch of notifications yeah. and yeah. shit. Fuck that. Comment on one thing and then your shit just blows up because everybody's it got, replying to it. Somehow it got like it was like disrespecting the troops and all this other stuff. Dude, oh was, lord, dude, it was brutal. Yeah. Like the soldiers walk in just to hear these kids <laughs> say the pledge of allegiance to them every day. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like. What a fucking bizarre thing people do. Right. I do think it's weird when people describe it as like, oh, that makes me sick to my stomach or, you know, like you're saying, like mm -hmm. physically ill. Like, no, it doesn't. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> right. Like, be real about it. Look it offends you. That's it. I've heard that, like, social media people are, well, Facebook in particular, will put things in your newsfeed that will upset you because it's like proven that you'll spend more time on something that upsets you that makes sense so like you'll spend more time on facebook because you're pissed and then than you will if you're happy <laughs> or interested in something so there's actual studies on that which is annoying oh, really hmm. i did not know that i saw facebook like ab tested some stuff where they like flooded somebody's news feed with like certain types of information like a lot of sad posts or something like that to see if that person's like statuses or posts would improve or decline and they definitely declined really and when they posted a lot of happy shit in people's feed they would also post happy that's kind of fucked up yeah that's so really they, fucked up and they and they don't take that very seriously like so it's kind of fucked up too huh how does that make you feel ryan that you're that's... manipulated so easily <laughs> I mean, I really don't have very many emotions towards Facebook or any you kind don't, of stuff. I do sometimes. Like, I'm like, God, this fucking app. I'm just kind of disgusted by it, like Tom said. 
And I don't know. Like, I've never well, I've, felt like I'm that. able to disconnect and be like, it's this is a stupid app. Why am I spending time on it? I think if anything, I more judge people. Like, the people that I'm friends with, I fucking <laughs> judges the shit out of them. I'm like, God, you're stupid. Why are you posting this? Nobody cares. Shut up. <laughs> That's what I feel. <laughs> I'll do that for like five minutes and be like, this is fucking dumb. Facebook thinks you should care. I'm trying to make you mad. <laughs> <laughs> what you been doing this week, AC? Not shit. Working. Bold. How'd you do? Bold like shit. Yeah. I'm ready to quit. Why? Quit bowling? I'm not really going to, but yeah. You're that, that bad, huh? This year, yeah. Isn't your average like a two <clears throat> fucking forty or something? No. Two, it was it was a two oh four, but this year it's down to a one. Like one ninety two. Oh, that must be <laughs> rough. <laughs> I think my average in bowling is like an eighty. So. Yeah, I'm usually happy if I get in the triple digits. But yeah, like, pretty much. Like, I did good if I got 120. Hell what do you yeah, attribute dude. this? Uh, <laughs> 120 is pretty high. Yeah, what do you dude. attribute this decline to? I don't know. That's what's so frustrating about it. I go bowling like once or twice a year, though, so. Yeah, if that. You need to wax your balls more, bro. Yeah. Or you need to spend more time with your fingers in your balls, you know? You could try that. Just yeah. get accustomed to the feel. Yeah, you could... Yeah, sleep with your hands in your balls. Yeah. This is why you guys don't shoot 200. <laughs> <laughs> Do you got the same league mates? No, new team. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Uh, where do you rank on the team? Are you like... We're like all this... That's the thing. Like, the whole team, we're all 200 or better bowlers, but not one of us has a 200 average this year. <laughs> So, I think it's the house, man. The house, it's just inconsistent shit. Where are you bowling at? Northway. Isn't that like, like the, the better floor, of like the, the floor or something? The ones in the I mean, as far oh, as yeah. equipment goes and stuff like that, yeah, it's great. But it's fucking, it's crowded. The lane conditions are all over the place. Like from lane to lane? Or from just, week, week to week. Oh. Uh, like one week they're super waxy, the next week they're fucking dry as shit. Right. <laughs> not, they're never dry as shit, but mm. there's a, I don't know, there's patterns that they use when they oil the lanes, and it seems like it's always different. Mm. I didn't even know that was a thing that you could look out for. <laughs> That's how little I know about bowling. I try to throw yeah. the ball straight, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 If, it goes, if it goes straight and not in the gutter, that's a good throw. Mm -hmm. And it's not a sport league, because like sport leagues, they do... Different patterns, like they got a cheetah pattern, all kinds of different patterns. Now, what does that do though? Affects how the ball spins, probably. Yeah, no, it, how your if, ball if you roll the ball hard enough, it's gonna go fucking straight. Well, yeah, if you throw a straight ball. But like, what's a cheetah pattern gonna do for your your hook? Uh, everything. There's different. The oil's in different places. So they what don't. I just imagined was like on fucking Super Mario, how there's like little turbo spots throughout the map. Is it kind of <laughs> like that? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, yeah, I guess it could be. That's just the way I pictured it in my head. Like just every couple feet, just like a little whoosh. little boost. Yeah. Have you tried waxing your arms and legs? Get some more agility behind it. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, getting not yet. slicked down like a seal. I mean, you should probably shave like a swimmer does. Yeah. It'd be more aerodynamic. <laughs> Cut through the window. That's quick. what I'd recommend. Yeah. And I guarantee I'll put 10, 10 points back on your game. Yeah? Yeah. What it move you to? It moved me from... I don't know. You got him. I was talking to this guy I work with this week, and he was showing me... Um, fuck, it's not a Legion Air. Frontier. Frontier Airlines has all these flights out of... Grand Rapids, if you go direct to, like, there's, like, 25 cities or something like that. A lot of them are whack, like Boise, Idaho, and, uh, <laughs> I don't know, like... So, direct, uh, you mean just, like, one way? Well, you can get round-trip tickets, but if you, like, are flexible and you just kind of, like, give a range of dates, like, you can get tickets. He got a round-trip to Fort Myers, I think, for... $65. What? Yeah, dude. And here's what I was going to tell you. Grand Rapids to LAX is there, dude. We should go see Brandon, man. I looked at the prices. It's not 
the frontier prices, but it's uh like under 150 bucks. Oh, manageable. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah. So you just have to be like super flexible about date, but yeah, it's reasonable, man. When you say that, what do you like? Like you gotta. I don't know. I'd have to look at the website and tool around with it a little bit. Like, but would you have to pick your, your 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 what would you call it? The date when you go back home? Would you yeah. have to pick that while you're in California, or can you have that you, planned out? You can do it ahead of time. Oh. But he was showing me. You click on the calendar, and it'll be like it shows the price for each day, and like so you just be like, okay, well on Tuesday it's forty three bucks. If I would do it on Friday, it's a hundred fifteen. So if you go on Tuesday and then you return and then be like, okay, I could return on Saturday. That's when I'd want to return naturally, right? But if I wait one more day, it's, you know, mm -hmm. a quarter of the price. And he goes to Florida and he's just telling me, he's like, yeah, I've been watching their, their website and yeah, the tickets were $15 there and 45 or $48 back. So round trip, it was $15. $15? Yeah. So it was like 65 what? It's seventeen dollars or something like that. It was sixty-five total round trip. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, dude. So that's what's the site? Frontier. It was Frontier Airlines. I don't know what the website is. It's not Frontier dot com because I looked at that and it wasn't. We gotta it's figure like out that website. Well, there's, I, I found it pretty easy. I just googled it. I was on their website earlier this week. Yeah, man. We should check it out though. Yeah. We could all, and there's like a whole bunch of cool places. We could go somewhere for a long weekend if we wanted. All of us. At, at those kind of prices, fuck it. <laughs> you know what I mean? What other cities are on there? Well, there's like Denver, Colorado is on there. That was a cool one. Phoenix, Arizona. Um, there's a couple of California cities. LA. Hey, you don't, doesn't like, Brett live in Phoenix? No, he lives uh, outside of Phoenix. <laughs> it, no, it, but, I, it, I don't think it's by Phoenix, but oh. <laughs> okay. What is that noise? <laughs> as soon as he said, "Fucking loud ass pipe." I really enjoyed last time I dr I drove instead of flying to Florida, and it I don't know I li I liked having all my shit with me. Like you can bring so much more stuff with you in the car. Like, you don't have to worry about bringing stuff back. Like, if you get, like, souvenirs or other bullshit, you don't have to worry about weighing your bags on the way back. I don't know. I liked, I liked driving. Oh. It was cool. That's a long fucking time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, but you know what we did, though? Is on the way there. Vegas is there, too. I just remember. We, drove, we drove there, and then but on the way back, we stopped, and we stayed a night, or a couple nights in uh, Tennessee. Yeah, so, but I'm talking about doing, like, a three-day weekend. You can't. Oh, Okay. That's that's how close those um you could. those fly dates are. Yeah. Okay. You just go like two nights and fucking. I'd be crazy. Party and then come home, man. We should do that. That'd be fun. Vegas. I might get lost in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'd be fun though. I'll never really. At get those kind of prices, home. though, you can actually think about doing stuff like that. You know, I think anyway. You don't have to feel as guilty about gambling and stuff. I've never wanted a casino. Never. <laughs> <laughs> what do you play usually? Uh, I, dude, I tried the tables, but I've never fucking wanted that, so I usually just stick to slots. Okay. That's a scam, dude. Well, that's why. So yeah, you gotta play the tables. And the tables suck. Who do you play at the tables? Blackjack? I play black blackjack and then uh, roulette. I like roulette. I always lose at roulette. <laughs> <laughs> I still like it. It's fun. Yeah, I eventually lose. I, I end up losing 600 bucks on roulette one time. Oh my god! It was brutal. I had this system in my head that I was following, and then <laughs> and I and I got it down. And I was like, God, this is not going well. But I was like, uh, as long as I have the the capital to back it up, it's 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 gonna work. The double down theory. Yeah. Yeah, I've tried that. And it works. <laughs> and it, it, it it does work. But you just have to have the capital. And I started getting close, and I was like, you know what? I'm getting really fucking nervous because now this is like these bets are getting really big. And I was like, okay, I'm going with the other one this time, black or whatever I was going with. And then it landed on the other one. And I was like, that's it. That's all of it. That was 600-something bucks. I'd be really pissed. It was, it was bad. It was a sad, sad day for me. Yikes. I remember one time I was playing roulette, and, like, in two hands, I was up 108 or two, what do you call it? Is it hands? Spins? Spins, yeah, two spins. I was on, I was up 180 bucks. I was like, ah, I should fucking walk. But I just got here. <laughs> that's the worst. You know what I mean? Yep. You can't. Yeah. And so... 
uh, I didn't walk and I lost it all and I lost another 120. <laughs> 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 We should go to a casino sometime. That'd be fun too. We can go to like Gun Lake. Or is there any on this on the west side over here? No. No. Turtle Creek is the closest, isn't it? Mount Pleasant. Where's that? I I, that's that's Soaring Eagle. Soaring, Soaring Eagle is Mount Pleasant. Yeah. You Turtle should. Creek is thirty minutes south of Traverse City. I thought it was right in Traverse City. No, it's in Manistee, I believe. Oh, okay. Or. Oh, you know, little it, little it's river, the little scene. rivers in Manistee. Yeah, little rivers. Turtles, in you're right. Turtles Turtle right Creek's in, in Traverse City. Yep, you're right. Turtle Creek. Uh, I stayed at the Grand Traverse oh, Hotel, yeah. and they shuttle from there. Oh, that's cool. Isn't Gun cool Lake hotel. way closer than that though? Yeah, but yeah. Gun, Gun Lake's kind of lame. No, it's it's actually, actually Firekeepers is cool. They're building on the. They're building on the Gun Lake. Gun Lake's not bad. It's just all the table games are expensive, dude. Yeah. They don't have any cheap have any table five dollar tables. Like I don't want to lose that kind of money <laughs> that's why i don't like playing the tables man uh, well yeah. So, uh, that's yeah that doesn't make me happy to yeah but you i feel like you have you play longer with big with the big dollars i don't know i feel like when i play blackjack i enjoy myself more i'm a big yeah i never feel good about blackjack. losing money at, at the casino i mean that's because so. you you always win the what? thing is is when you have to <laughs> I don't know. I feel like <laughs> this guy. You I always end up winning him, regardless of what you do. I feel do. like I always go, I'm always up, but then I get greedy and I end up losing it all. Oh. So, yeah. like, they always keep me at that fucking table. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I've sat at a table for hours before. Yeah, the only time I've sat at a casino for hours is when I'm at the sluts, doing the slut machines. Huh. I, I've got a couple rooms available, I think. Some, like, fr from those free promo rooms at Little River and at, um, maybe Firekeepers. I mean, a high roller? No. They still send me stuff sometimes. They cool. send you free rooms? Mm-hmm. Damn. That's legit. That is legit. That's a pretty sweet deal. Yeah, I figure I've lost enough money there. They're like, <laughs> throw this fucking guy a bone. No, you paid for more than enough rooms. And just have a free one. You paid for this whole remodel we've done. <laughs> Casinos are only this much fun to me because mostly I lose. I don't know. It's just a little. Yeah, I've never, I don't think I've ever walked out ahead. No, never. I have a couple times, but not like significantly. Not where I was like, fuck yeah, putting money in the bank. You know, I was like, I, like 30, get, I made like 35 or 80 bucks or something like I that. I like getting loaded and looking at all the bright, shiny lights everywhere. It is fun to drink at a casino. I won't lie. There's a whole lot of shit going on. There's a whole yeah. lot of people. Yeah, man. There's good people watching. I'll say that. If you can afford to sit at the roulette table and see people come in and just like move the chips in, and then like five minutes later they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh my God. I thought I was making mistakes tonight. I've seen that shit before. I've seen people like lose thousands in minutes. That's crazy. It'd be cool if we could all get our own, all get on the same blackjack table. It'd be fun. Five dollar hands or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be down. I don't like people taking my money like that. Did you play yeah, blackjack with us? We went to the casino with, I think it was Mike and Brian. No, I did not. Because we I remember us all, all four of us were there. Uh, me, Br me, Mike, Brian, and Sasha. Yeah, I don't think I went oh, with you that man. time. I gotta look at it like going out, at, like to the movies or something. So like, if the the money's gone, it's like, well, I would have spent that on you know, right. This. Yeah, that's kind of hard. Yeah, but you don't go to the you movies got... and drop two hundred dollars. <laughs> I know, I know, but you almost gotta look at it like that. So like, okay, this movie is gonna cost me two hundred bucks. I gotta and it might last it ten somehow. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that's the shitty part. Dude, when I was like eight, my family went on vacation to Las Vegas, and on the way out, like to the airport, my dad stopped and played a fucking like a quarter slot machine. Won like thirteen thousand dollars. Damn. Yeah, and the only reason he played it is because my brother was like, "Hey, dad, play that one." Yeah. So he stopped and fucking dropped some money in, and bam. You say as you were leaving? Yeah. Or as like oh. we had our our luggage and everything, and we were walking out. Wow. And then he's like, we're staying another night. <laughs> <laughs> no, we left immediately. We'll be That's taking the way to do that. back. Yeah, Damn. Let's, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I was hoping that like you'll hit on something, but... You gotta bit, bet big money to win big money. Yeah. It was it was cool being in Las Vegas, but 
I was eight, so like we couldn't do anything. Yeah, not that mm. cool. Yeah. Who brings an eight-year-old to Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> my parents wanted to gamble, bro. <laughs> What'd you do while they were gambling? Me and my brother hung out in the room. Probably tried watching really? porn in the yeah. room. Tried. No, <laughs> we we stayed at uh, the Mandalay Bay, and we were on the thirty-second floor, and like the whole wall is a window. Yeah. Right? It's just a big window pane. And, you know, we're fucking terrified of heights, so we fucking, like, crawled up to the edge, and we played this game. We counted how many limos we could see while Mom and Dad were gone. Damn, that's a vacation, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Kids had a good time. Yeah. You got robbed. They didn't let you get onto the floor at all? No, we did. Like, they had a pool and a wave pool, a lazy river, and a bunch of other shit. Okay. We went in that, but I'm pretty sure that the trip was mainly for my parents gambling. <laughs> huh. I don't know you could do that. I have to keep that in mind. <laughs> do what? Just leave your kid in the room. <laughs> well, I mean, I think my brother was like, he had to have been like 13. Oh, so. okay. He was like, yeah. They were just like, you guys are staying here. We're going to go party. <laughs> That's funny. Have you ever been to Vegas? Uh-uh. You? No. no. My Man, sister we're... lived there for a couple of years. I kind of pu- punched myself for not going while she was there. It stayed a lot You never cheaper. even visited her? No, I wasn't really. I can never... D- Here's the thing. I always think about, oh yeah, I really like to travel, but I could buy a new guitar. <laughs> 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 or like, whatever it is, you know? It's like, does it make sense to go for a couple days and do this? Or have this guitar forever? Yeah, that's, <laughs> it's hard to justify sometimes. It's, I always talk <laughs> myself out of trips. I can see that. I always have a good time on the trips, though. Memories are forever. Yeah. Memories on that new guitar are forever. <laughs> you can also make new memories on that guitar. <laughs> I wrote, I wrote <laughs> writing new music. Oh, right, right, right. right. God, fuck off, dude. <laughs> Looked at me like I offended you. I just didn't know what you meant, man. I still don't know what he meant. I still don't know what he meant. Well, fuck yourself. Yeah, I don't get it. Let's you know what? Good time it was pretty sweet, it. okay? You guys just suck. I don't really get it, man. Yeah, fuck you. Band Breaks with Margaret for Madison.